What's up, Cancer? Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Or welcome back if you're returning. And thank you so much if you are. I really appreciate you guys. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so glad you found the channel. I hope the reading resonates with you. If it doesn't, go ahead and check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs. You might find something there that does. If it does resonate, be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment because I do choose someone from the comments of the most liked video every month to give away a free private reading to. So be sure to do that. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you. If you are looking to book a personal reading with me, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. You'll also there find the link to my Patreon page where I'll be uploading an extended version of this reading. I do upload extensions to all 12 of my Zodiac readings and you can actually have access to all 12 of them for just $3.30. Just putting that out there. You can also find my Twitter and Instagram links in the description box as well. Keep in mind that the reading is general, so it's not going to resonate with every Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus out there. But you'll know if it's your story. Probably with the first layer of cards, you'll know if it's your story or not. You can mix and match the energies between you and your person because it is a general reading. So some might you might resonate with some part of it from your side and some from theirs. I also am focusing on love, but if it resonates with you on any other re relational level, feel free to remove the romantic connotations. And let's see, I am focusing on September of 2020, but it, these readings are really meant to be timeless, so whenever you're led to this reading, if it resonates, it's yours. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, if you're new, you'll notice that I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out, alright? So let's go ahead and get started. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2020 or whenever they're watching or you're watching this. All right. Cancer, Spirit, Lady V, spread, please. Let's see what we got here. Spirit, are the top eight cards the correct cards for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2020? And is the overall energy of their connection at the bottom of the deck? Upright or reversed, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like there's some sort of waiting game going on right now in your connection, Cancer. Perhaps you've both taken a step back and are reassessing maybe what you want out of the connection, out of life, whatever. But this is definitely an energy of taking a step back, looking at what you've invested in something and trying to determine if you want to continue investing in it. So that's the overall energy of your connection right now. Uh, so I would say probably both of you are doing that to some degree. Okay, let's see how you're feeling about this person, Cancer. <clears throat> the Nine of Pentacles. That's how you're feeling about this person. Hmm. Upright or reverse, the Nine of Pentacles. So you definitely see value in this person. The Nine of Pentacles is a very independent energy, and this might be how you feel. Maybe you're kind of torn and feel like you like being independent, but this is typically in this position how you feel about this person. This is an energy. This person has caught your eye. This person definitely has your attention and possibly even your undivided attention. The Nine of Pentacles gets a lot of attention. Uh, this is known as the single lady card, but it can be male or female. That's something I may not have mentioned at the beginning, that the gender is unimportant. It's about energy. So the queens can be kings and vice versa, right? So uh, the nine of pentacles is just a very attractive energy. This person knows their worth. They have all their ducks in a row. They have all that they need. And, you know, yeah, sure, they would love to add a relationship to their life if it's going to add positive value to their life happiness they don't want to add you know a relationship that's going to make them unhappy to their life they definitely don't want to put up with any bs this nine of pentacles energy they're very uh self-sufficient and um and just doesn't need anyone but you know 
is still, you know, open to having someone, but doesn't need anyone. It's a very attractive energy, and you find this person to be that energy. Very attractive. Um, how do they see you, Cancer? The King of Swords. The King of Swords. So, Cancer, you are projecting, whether or not you really are this King of Swords energy or not, upright or reverse the King of Swords, you are projecting a King of Swords type of energy, which is... Kind of, you're coming across a little bit cold and distant, detached. This person is perceiving you as somewhat detached, okay? And being more of a thinker than a feeler. Putting your thoughts your, your thoughts before your emotions or trying to use your head, maybe make a decision about something, Cancer. The King of Swords is a very decisive uh, energy. Uh, it's a thinker, you know, but not known for being, you know, the most emotional person, male or female, Um can sometimes, you know, sometimes be an overthinker and sometimes, you know, to their detriment, uh, not consider feelings when making a decision because we are given both logic and emotion, intuition, intuition and emotion are very closely linked. We're given both. And if you s totally stuff one down and only rely on the other, you're not really using everything that's available to you in your decision making process right um because we are given both to help us it's very masculine energy okay because air it's swords it's air and uh, thought you know it's all in logic and all that is associated with masculine energy um and it is the king so you're that's what you're projecting to this person they're not sure of how you feel because you're projecting such a kind of just cold and detached not like you are cold but it just comes across somewhat cold you know, a there's a level of detachment there, Cancer, that you're projecting. Okay, so now how do they feel about you? The Page of Swords. Okay. It's not really a, a very emotional card. Upright or reverse, the Page of Swords. So I'd say at this point, I mean, they're interested in talking. They're definitely thinking about you. You are on their mind. Um, they're curious about what you're up to, maybe even, you know, checking out your social media and seeing if you've posted anything recently or when you were online last time. They're curious, they're thinking, and I do th say that they are interested in communication. Whether or not they'll, you know, reach out or not is, you know, this, this energy can tend to kind of stay back in the shadows. It wants to learn. This person wants to learn more about you. Okay, the Page of Swords is a very inquisitive energy. So you might find that this person asks you a lot of questions or wants to know stuff about you because this person wants to know stuff about you. All right. So what happened in the past to lead up to this reassessment here? We have the star. Beautiful energy. Beautiful card, I mean, in this deck. Wow. All right. So upright or reverse the star. I'm getting bad timing. It certainly could be that somebody lost all hope in this connection with the star in reverse. It's really pretty in the upright. It's in reverse. So I do feel somebody may have lost all hope in this connection, but I also feel divine timing may not have been right in the past. Okay, this is absolutely a fateful energy for me. The star cross lovers. We don't have any other major arcana yet, so I don't want to jump the gun here, but it is a very spiritual energy, okay? And it's in the reverse. So I feel like... I just feel like this, it wasn't aligned. You guys were not in alignment. I'm hearing alignment. So there was something out of alignment in this connection before, a need of healing. There may have been some hurt that transpired in the connection. Uh, but I, I really am feeling divine timing here. It was just not, it wasn't right. Okay. So what is the current situation or energy in this connection right now? Ooh, the lovers. Gemini energy, by the way, the star is Aquarius. We do have a lot of air on the table. So, you know, you could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart, or they could. Other than that, we have um, just the seven of coins and the nine of coins. So some earth energy. All right, upright or reverse, the lovers. So right now, even if you guys are not together, it doesn't really say. I know you guys have taken a step back, but you could still be in communication. Um, the lovers, that is very strong energy. The connection is strong, even if it's just behind the scenes. It may look shaky on the surface, but behind the scenes, this is one strong ass connection. Okay. It is, you feel it like to your core. Like if you're in separation, you're in pain. Okay. From this person. 
uh, from being away from this person. You miss having their energy around you if you are in separation. Um, it's just a magnetic pull. You feel a faded element. We do have that star there as well. This is like a soulmate twin flame energy for sure. Okay. However, I will mention, and it is in the current energy, it can um, lead you to think of a third party because the lovers is typically about a choice. It's Gemini energy. It's about a choice. There could be another energy in the connection. There could be an energy of a choice. We do see your person as seeing you as the king of swords, which I said could be a decision that needs to be made. So it might be you that needs to make the decision and possibly between two people, Cancer. Maybe two soulmates. All right. We do have more than one. Only one twin flame or that highest level of soulmate. But we have plenty of soulmates that we can interact with in this life. And they all teach us different things. All right. So what is your person's energy going to be towards you this month? Or how will they receive you if you pursue them? Or, you know, are they likely to pursue you? We have the seven of swords. Hmm. Well, let's see. Upright or reverse, the seven of swords. Well, I would say that your person... Okay, so if there's been any kind of deception in this connection at all on your part or theirs, if they've deceived you, they definitely plan to come to you in a very honest energy and come clean about something. If you have deceived them or they think you have, and you'll probably know if that's the case then they are really going to be demanding the truth if you do come their way. They're going, they're not going to settle for anything less than the truth. Okay, so we'll get clarifiers on that. Let's see what your advice is in dealing with this person, Cancer. We have the Nine of Swords. Upright or reverse, the Nine of Swords. So, Cancer, you've been in a bad way about this person. <laughs> I mean, you're... With the Nine of Pentacles there, it's almost a starstruck energy when that when I see that in the feelings. It would be like, a, it's like the Empress or the Star for me, um, similar. Not quite the Star, but a little bit. Um, or like the Six of Wands. Like, you really think this person is pretty fabulous with that Nine of Pentacles there? All right, so you've been in a bad way. You may have been losing sleep recently over this connection. Um, just doing a lot of thinking and overthinking and maybe feeling kind of heartbroken about whatever the state of this connection is right now it looks like you have some really good strong energy but again that could be something that has yet to come to the surface um it could be right there bubbling ready to come out okay because we do see that there may have been some deception in this connection and there is you are projecting a detached energy to this person cancer so but i do see that is not the truth because i see that this is how you've been cancer you may be projecting to this person that you're detached but this nine of swords energy is definitely not detached okay you've definitely been feeling a lot okay behind the scenes for this person but spirit's saying to stop worrying about it so much okay at this point we'll get clarifiers but for some reason you don't really need to worry about this right now cancer okay we'll find out why Maybe it's, you know, because this connection is, like, super strong. We'll find out. Let's see. All right. So, the most likely outcome for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and their person of interest for September 2020 is the Eight of Pentacles. That's not bad energy at all. We have the, the Seven of Pentacles is in your overall energy now, which is that energy of trying to decide if you want to continue to invest or put more work into the connection. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Coins, and the outcome, which is putting more work into the connection. Okay, so it looks like you guys are trying to decide now, and it looks like you very well may decide to do that. Upright or reverse the Eight of Coins. Yeah, so... I do see that you guys both want to put more effort into this connection. You want to see if it can work out. See where it goes. Try to work things out. Okay, so let's get some clarifiers and get some more details. All right, Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Cancer for the month of September 2020 or whenever they're watching this reading. Please clarify these cards that are already laid out here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify them two by two. Two cards on each position, please.
right, Spirit, are the top 16 cards the correct cards to clarify the ones that are already laid out for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 2020 or whenever they're watching? And are the two cards at the bottom of the deck the overall energy reflection? Upright or reverse the Empress. Nice. Upright or reverse the Page of Swords. All right. So, in the overall, I do see growth is trying to take place. Like, I feel like something, like, I, I'm seeing, right now I'm seeing, like, a tiny shoot bursting, like a blade of grass bursting forth from the soil, right? The Empress is growth. It's fertility, by the way. If um, you are not trying to start a family with this in your overall energy, you need to be taking the precautions. Sorry, just saying. Big Bertha is in the house, so fertility is high. Okay, but yeah, I do see that you're trying to decide if you want to continue growing or try trying to grow something, birth this connection into something real. And I feel like there's a lot of thinking going on right now and possibly um, a conversation, thinking about a conversation, maybe wanting to know more about how it would look or whatever. Just like this is, like I said, a very inquisitive energy. And this is how your person is feeling about you. So one or both of you is feeling, okay, so what if we did this? Or, you know, how would we work this out or whatever? Like, I feel a conversation is trying to be birthed, come to the surface right now. An important conversation. You're trying to decide if you want to put effort if you really want to you know take this to the next level to see where this goes to invest more um let's see how you're feeling the nine of pentacles is how you're feeling about your person the lovers that gemini energy again and the king of wands yeah upright or reverse the lovers and the king of wands I feel the King of Wands is you, and I feel like you really want to come take action uh, towards this person. It's what you want. I don't know what you're doing, but you have noticed this person. They have your attention big time. You think they're freaking fabulous. You feel the amazing, strong connection with them. It is magnetic. You just can't seem to get over this person. You don't want to stay away from this person. You are very drawn to this person. And it's painful to be separated from them if you are. Um, and you're really thinking and wanting to take action towards them. You're wanting to go after what you want. And I mean, this is a lady in waiting right here, right? Okay, or man, it, like I said, the gender is not important. It's about energy, okay? But again, it could indicate that third party. So you may have a choice, okay, Cancer? You might be the one that has a choice. And this could be you, you know, getting ready to take action and make a choice. And your nine of pentacles, your person that you're inquiring about could be one of your choices. But either way... This connection is hella strong, all right? And you are very passionate about them. You feel very passionately for this person, all right? So how do they see you? The Six of Cups as a soulmate. The Ten of Cups. Oh, my gosh. And <laughs> well, upright or reverse the Six of Cups. Upright or reverse the Ten of Cups. So, also with this King of Swords, even though, yes, I do feel like you are projecting that some level of detachment to this person, it's not really fooling them much um, with these Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. They see you as, like, potential happiness, happily ever after. Okay, they see you as a potential happily ever after. Their potential happily ever after. They feel very, very attached to you. With this Six of Cups, it's soulmate energy for, for sure. They definitely feel like... You either have a past with this person, a strong history with this person that maybe goes fairly far back, or maybe you're from the same area and they just, you kind of feel like home to them or like give them a sense of a nostalgia or something. Could be past life energy for sure with the six of cups and we have the 10 of cups, the lovers. There's definitely soulmate energy here. And I feel your person sees you in that light and feels like you should be together with that 10 of cups. All right, now how do they feel about you? They want to know more. They're in, they're curious. The two of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Oh. Upright or reversed, the two of pentacles. Upright or reversed, the nine of pentacles. So they want, I feel like they want... 
they're either choosing you and choosing to, they want to choose you to enter into a relationship and not be single. They don't want to be single or they don't want you to be single or they want you to choose them cancer because this is the energy of a choice for sure. And we do already see here that you may have a choice to make. So this could be for most of you that your person wants you to make a choice and choose them. Okay. Because this is a very unstable energy of juggling. Okay. Um, and like going back and forth, should I, shouldn't I, or trying to balance too many things in your life, trying to juggle too many things. If you're trying to, you know, incorporate a relationship into your life and you're still trying to keep all your other social engagements that you had before and your job and this, what well, you need time for this and time for that and whatever, you know, when you add something, you have to, you may have to eliminate something. So you, when you're in this energy of trying to balance too much and juggle, it can't be sustained for very long. Eventually something's going to get dropped. Okay. So I feel like your person does not want you to drop them. They want you to choose them. They want you to drop something else or balance your time better. They don't, want you to be single they want you I, I don't feel like they want to be single okay um they may feel like you're you may some of you if you're having any kind of financial issues some of you that might resonate that you may have just dropped something or lost something lost your balance in something or you may be trying to find your balance right now okay they may see you and feel like you want to uh be single um and you're trying to find your balance right now or that you're just trying to find your own stability right now it could be for some of you especially if there's any kind of financial issues that your person knows about all right i don't usually jump to financial with the pentacles in a love reading because for me pentacles in a love reading are time and energy uh but and that certainly could be they could feel like you have too much on your plate right now and need to eliminate something else from your life to make time for them it certainly could be that Okay, um, let's see what happened in the past. The divine timing was not there in the past. Somebody lost some hope. The Ace of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Oh, okay, so somebody may have been cut upright or reversed. Uh, the Ace of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I believe it was because of divine timing, but obviously the details are going to be different for everybody in the situations. And whenever divine timing is to blame if we want to call it that um it does not absolve the individual actions of the people you know it does not like make them okay if you did something wrong you did something wrong and you still need to do your part to make it right and vice versa but i do feel like the divine timing was an issue in the past but either way somebody gave up hope in this connection and decided they had to make an executive decision to cut the other person out or cut themselves free from this connection and they kind of like put you in the freezer or you put them in the freezer cancer. This is the freezer card. It's being feeling like you're abandoned, having to walk away and feeling like you've been rejected. There was some sort of rejection here. Okay. Maybe multiple, maybe on both sides. Okay. There was some sorts of rejection on both sides. Um, and also this, this, um, this Ace of Swords has to do with mental clarity. Somebody may have, it became clear to someone that there was no hope in the past with that star in the reverse and the Ace of Swords here. I see that as it became very clear to someone that there was no hope in this and they had to walk away and that it was just going to be, you know, they had to abandon ship basically. This isn't a part of abandonment also. Um, but let's see the current energy, the lovers. I mean, there could be a choice, but it's a very strong connection. It's here twice in your reading. We have the two of wands again. Definitely a choice, Cancer. I feel like it may be on your part. And the Knight of Pentacles. All right. We have the Two of Wands, upright or reversed. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Cancer. I mean, if this is not you, then it's your person. You take it how it resonates. But I feel somebody has a choice here between two. And it doesn't necessarily have to be two people. It certainly could be. But it could just be two paths. Okay, two different, you know, ways to do something or whatever. But I do feel like for many of you, it's somebody trying to, to decide between two people and which one to pursue. Okay, but also this is about something finally materializing. This could be something that's been being waited for for a long time. Okay, and it's finally starting to manifest with this Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles... He's very slow. The slowest night in the deck, it takes almost forever for him to get to his destination. But once he gets there, he brings the goods. It's very solid and stable. 
Um, there could be distance between you guys. This certainly could be any some kind of long distance relationship with the two of wands here. Um, and, you know, travel might be indicated. Somebody might be thinking about coming to see the other. Uh, but again, uh, it's another two. So I do feel like many of you cancers have a choice between two people or your person does. Okay. Or both even. So what's this person's energy towards you this month or what will they receive you in? The seven of swords in reverse. They want the truth and they're coming with the truth if they've been withholding it. The world and the two of swords. Hmm. Upright or reverse the world. Upright or reverse the two of swords. So, Cancer, I feel like, again, this is another card of distance. So, there certainly could be. I mean, it could indicate travel. I don't feel like your person's coming to travel to see you. Your person is, I feel, wanting some sort of truth. Uh, to be revealed to them. And I do not feel like they're going to budge on that with the two of swords here. They may demand or give you an ultimatum or demand that you make a choice if you want to move forward with them. I do, um, you could be dealing with fixed energy, by the way, Leo, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, or Aquarius. And we do have Aquarius up there in the star energy. But this is, if this is them needing to make a choice, I feel like, I, I just don't feel like it's happening. I feel like if you want something to happen in this connection, you're going to have to make it happen, Cancer, because this person isn't budging. Okay, they're just not, they're not budging. Uh, they may uh, feel like something has ended here, so they may, you know, uh, want, I mean, this is, this, the world is about cycles ending and cycles beginning. So there could be closure coming this month. Or they may, you know, I just feel like there's an energy of maybe needing some closure. Or you could decide to start the new cycle, the whole whole new cycle with this person. And this person, it doesn't, I mean, I'm going to get more in the extended. But I just feel like this person is not going to accept anything but the truth. And if they need to tell you the truth, then I feel like they will. And they may come visit you if you know that that's, the, that's your side that's resonating and they may be making that choice, but I feel like it'll be after some time. They still are very confused if they're the one needing to make the choice. If you are, then you're the one that's very confused and needing to make a choice. And your person is not going to budge on their position. Whatever the position is, they're not budging on that position. Okay. Um, so your advice... Your advice when dealing with this person, I need to get these out of the way. Sorry. All right, we have the Nine of Swords. Don't worry about it so much, Cancer. The Eight of Swords. Wow, you have been all up in your head. And the Ace of Cups. Don't worry. Upright or reverse the Eight of Swords. Upright or reverse the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so Cancer, you've very much been in a bad way. You've been all tied up in your head about this person, overthinking to the max. Spirit's saying, don't worry about it. This is all going to be okay with the Ace of Cups here. That's healing. That is a new, a second chance I'm hearing. It, or, you know, however many, whatever. It is a renewal, okay? For some of you, it could be advising you that new love is coming. So if you feel like you're done with this person, maybe somebody new is coming. Uh, but I really, this is, this reading is about this person and, you know, about you and this person. I feel like there is a renewal for this connection. It's so strong with that lover's energy and the six of cups, the ten of cups with the empress and the overall energy. I just, I feel like it's a very, you've been on a cycle with this person. It's a very strong connection and there is still hope. This is absolutely hope and healing and a, a renewal of love. So you don't need to worry about it, Cancer. I feel like everything's going to work out. All right, so let's see. Because the love is very strong. The most likely outcome, the Eight of Coins, you guys will be putting the work into it. Ooh, the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups. Upright or reverse, the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups. Yeah, so Cancer, it looks like you guys will be deciding to put the work into this. And I do feel like this connection is going to be more stable at the end of the day, right? It's going to be, many of you will be leveling up to a higher level of commitment. If you've just been dating, you'll be, 
you know, going into a committed relationship. If you've been in the committed relationship, you'll be leveling up to being engaged. If you are engaged, then you might actually take that plunge and get married. But this is definitely an energy of that level up energy. It's a twin flame card because of the four wands looking like an 1111. Definitely very passionate energy. It's stable. It's secure. It's celebratory. Look, we have two cards of celebration. There could be a wedding in your future with these cards. I mean, this is all about celebration. Okay, this is reconciliation. Both of them can be reconciliation. Celebrating, having a great time, going out, having a few drinks or coffee if you don't drink, whatever. Just, you know, having sharing a meal, sharing some laughs, having a good time. And definitely stabilizing the connection in general, okay? And that's going to happen because both of you are putting in equal effort, okay? That's when that kind of thing happens, all right? So <coughs> that was your reading, excuse me, Cancer, for September 2020. I will be looking more into how your person feels about you, what they're most likely to do next, or the energy they'll receive you in. Get you some more advice with tarot and oracles as well as more on that outcome. If you want to follow me over to Patreon, you can find the link below. Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you guys. I hope you have an absolutely beautifully blessed September. Stay safe, healthy, and sane out there. And I will check you guys back in October. Bye.